Good morning, everyone. I will begin today by thanking my good friend, Patrick Medley, for presenting me with a thoughtful collection of photos on behalf of the Central DeKalb Volunteer Cleanup Crew. I really appreciate the gesture that now holds a place of prominence in my office. I also want to congratulate Patrick on recently joining the staff at Side by Side Brain Injury Clubhouse. This wonderful organization advances the long-term well-being of people with brain-related injuries and their families, and we are so proud to have that organization in District 4. On May 1st, I was happy to participate in the Bike Month kickoff that was hosted by my good friend, Clarkston Mayor Beverly Burks. This was a great event that brought together the mayors in District 4 whose cities border the path, including Avondale Estates Mayor Jonathan Elmore, Cater Mayor Patty Garrett, Stone Mountain Mayor Pat Wheeler. The city of Tucker was represented by council members Matt Robbins and Noel Monfredini. I want to thank and commend Mayor Burks for making this happen. Now, this event uh, induced me to shake the dust off of my bike that had been gathering dust in my basement and make the ride from my house to downtown Clarkston for the event. Granted, it was not all that far distance wise, but I'm getting to be an old man and this is, was an accomplishment for me. Now, I have to admit that I, I was a little concerned about being able to make it back home, but I'm happy to report Commissioner Ted Terry that I did make it back without doing any damage to my bike or myself. And once again, it was a great event and I was happy to participate. Later that day, I was I was pleased to attend the water park opening at Wade Walker Park Family YMCA. It was great to see so many people enjoying this wonderful facility. I want to commend Center Director Lorna Lowe for the great job that she's doing running the facility and thank my friend Jackie Steele for the invitation to attend. On May 4th, I was happy to join my colleagues, Commissioners Jeff Rader and Ted Terry for the Laurel Ridge Shamrock Civic Association meeting via Zoom. We were there representing the law firm of Raider Terry Bradshaw. Uh, now, Commissioner Larry Johnson, I don't know if you caught what I just did there with the Terry Bradshaw, working that in. Uh, but as one of our former colleagues used to say, there's no reason this can't be fun. Uh, at any rate, uh, Laurel Ridge is a wonderful community. It was great to engage in a very candid dialogue with the residents on a number of important issues. I want to thank LRSCA board members Paul Frederick and Mary Lee Putnam and the entire community for the invitation. And I look forward to returning again in the future, hopefully in person next time. And on May 6th, it was great to visit the construction site for the Toby Grant Intergenerational Center in District 4. I want to thank for Commissioner Robert Packard Patrick for joining us as well. This is a project that was started long before I took office. I know that our friend and former colleague, Commissioner Kathy Gannon, put a lot of effort into this project. Upon taking office, I did contribute $250,000 out of my funds to assist with the financing of this project. And once completed, I know it would be a welcome addition to this wonderful community. I'd like to commend and thank our community development department led by Alan Mitchell for their persistence and creativity in keeping this project on track. It is going to be a really wonderful facility and hopefully we'll be able to host a ribbon cutting ceremony later this year or early next year. And finally, I want to offer a great word of thanks to our research assistant, A. Dutin Seyingbo for his service to our district four office. He is an outstanding young man with a bright future who has added a lot to our deliberations on a number of projects over the last few months. Dotun has recently completed his studies for a master's in public policy degree from the Andrew Young School of Policy Studies at Georgia State University, which happens to be where I received my graduate degree and taught as an adjunct professor. Dotun is now returning to his native country of Nigeria with the immense gratitude of a certain DeKalb County Commissioner. And candidly, I would not be surprised if Dotun one day becomes the president of the country of Nigeria. And when that happens, I will simply ask that he does not forget us little people here in DeKalb County, Georgia. 
I wish him nothing but the best in his future. I will close the day by once again thanking the citizens of District 4 for affording me this opportunity to serve. It is indeed an honor. Before we adjourn, I will remind my colleagues that we will go from this meeting, we will uh, drop off and then uh, in a few minutes hence, log into the Urban Redevelopment Agency meeting. So with that, if there is no other business to come before this business meeting this morning, I will hear a motion to adjourn.